Hello, my name is Ian McCall. This is a short overview of the website uh, that's used to deliver the Australian uh, Diploma in Dermatology. You basically have your own username and password to enter the website. And when you go in, it will present in this fashion. The diploma itself is delivered in this module section. There are 14 modules, each is delivered over a two-week period. Each module may have two parts, three parts, or I think one of them actually has four parts. Within a module, uh, let's pop into module two, you'll see that there are roughly about uh, ten parts, ten sections within it. Each module begins with a video which looks at all the images uh, in that module and goes over it and also has a podcast on the topic. All the images will enlarge and can be moved around. There are many references to other websites uh, which you should go to to uh, read up on that particular topic. Generally, there's a small summary at the end of uh, each part of a module and the main issues that you should have addressed. As I said, the modules are delivered over a 14-2-week uh, period, so it's 28 weeks. There's an exam delivered at the end of semester one, which is generally after module 7b. And there's another final exam at the end of the course. We cover the full gamut of uh, dermatology, but concentrate mainly on those topics which are of relevance to general practitioners in their everyday practice. The first semester deals with most of the common conditions that you'll deal with, uh, acne, rosacea, psoriasis, uh, the common bacterial and viral infections, and the common fungal infections. Module 2 has some of the more esoteric things and goes into uh, pediatric disease, um, some of the collagen disorders, the bullous disorders, urticaria, uh, that's some of the light related disorders which are important here in Australia, and skin cancer. And there's a small section on, uh, well certainly a larger section here at nail and oral diseases, a relatively small section on some cosmetic dermatology and dermatological surgical procedures. As well as having the modules delivered uh, in this way, each module has associated with it um, a series of multiple choice questions to assess your content knowledge for that module. These um, questions are accessed by clicking a link at the end of the module and they're simply true-false. When you go through them and press continue, you'll be given the uh, correct, well, your, your, your uh, responses will be marked, you'll be given the correct answers. Also, um, students doing each module have to present a series of, uh, their answers to a series of cases. So, for instance, for the dermatitis module, the written assessment questions can be found here. All of the images can be enlarged and moved around. And basically, you answer the question by putting your response in these text boxes here. Just simply answer the question that's being asked. Press Submit, and your answers are automatically sent to the relevant section of the website where they can be accessed uh, by me or by your tutor and will be marked you'll then get um, your marks sent back to you with comments on your answers. As well as having all the modules, there's a clinical meeting section. The clinical meeting section of the web -like site allows you to submit interesting cases from your uh, practice, and these cases will then be commented on uh, either by my, myself or one of the tutors or perhaps by, uh, by many of us. If we for instance, look at this particular case here. You can see how uh, a case is presented. You don't have to put a lot of uh, information there, just a bit of information about the patient. These are the images that this particular doctor um, submitted. 
a very itchy rash uh, all over. This was the pattern that was seen at the wrists. If you look closely here, if we enlarge this, you'll see there are little schematic burrows on the apices of all of these little vesicles here. This is just part of the body's immune reaction. So this particular doctor didn't quite pick this diagnosis. Um, these are comments that have been added. Uh, this comment was one added by me. Various comments from other people who are uh, taking the course, which they're encouraged to do. To add a comment, you simply click the Add a Comment box, put your comment in there, press Submit, and uh, it's uh, put up in the case. So looking back at the clinical meeting, you can see at the moment there are more than 3,066 cases there. These cases have been put in over the last three to four years by doctors who have been doing the diploma. And the cases can all be searched. The archives can be searched in this area up here. So you can see the various cases of scabies, the various cases of psoriasis and the like that have been submitted. Um, the virtual clinical meeting to put a case in is straightforward. You just click this little box here. You simply put your text or the history in this box. Ignore these two. Go here to look for your images. Choose your image wherever it happens to, uh, to be on your website. Let's just flick into something up here. Simply click on your image and uh, press open to submit it and it will go in. You can put up to six images and just press submit at the bottom and your case will be submitted. There are various other parts to the website here. They're just additional teaching material that uh, is in for each module. Um, there's a presentation section in the website where a variety of PowerPoints are relevant to uh, various parts of the diploma can be accessed. Also, there are videos here of the weekend meeting that starts the live weekend meeting at the John Flynn that starts the diploma off and you can access uh, the videos of these particular lectures down here. There are also numerous PDF files that can be accessed as well and uh, information like dermatology formulae for the tropics etc. So we're able to put these in there for you. The each week there's a teleconference, a video teleconference that lasts about an hour and a half um, going over aspects of the uh, modules. We look at answers to the MCQ in module one. Uh, we look at the written assessment cases that you've had to do for the module in webinar two. These webinars are all recorded and if you miss one you can access it by going here and just clicking uh, on the relevant link. For instance, if we're looking at the one for the written assessment questions for module one. If we click on this, then the relevant uh, video will come up and uh, you're able to access this and listen to what was discussed and the discussion and things that took place. Hello everybody. <coughs> Welcome to the uh, second of the webinars for module one. Uh, I'll just close that just now. So, what else do we have? There's a data storage section where we're able to put additional material that's of relevance. And there's the resources section of the website, which will have a practice exam. It will also have the two semester exams in there. You obviously can't access them at this stage because you need the relevant password. And you get that just before you're due to sit the live online exam. Uh, at, on a particular date at a particular time, but we'll go over that later. So that's the essentially the layout of uh, the website. There is a blog associated with the diploma as well at uh, www.myskinconsult.blogspot.com and if we just go to that, ah, it's myskinconsult5.blogspot.com, then you'll see the cases that we have put up 
uh, for your discussion. This is Monday, the case for Monday, the uh, 25th of February, um, where you're expected to put your comments in here. I just put it up a little while ago there. All the, the cases that are put in there, um, once you've made your comments, I come in and comment on those, and then I put a video up describing the case that evening. So you can go in and have a look at the video. So the material that's presented in the My Skin Consult website and the material that's presented in the Learned Dermatology blog constitutes the um, uh, basically all the factual material. The big thing about uh, the Australian Diploma of Dermatology is the interactive component of it. Not just in the cases that you might put up, the comments we put on them, but the ability to interact when we deliver the webinars. The fact that uh, you can put your hand up, I can ask you a question, you can ask me a question, and we chat live. And the fact that they're all recorded so that if you miss one, you're able to come back to it later. So I hope you've enjoyed this short introduction to the um, course website. Um, and I look forward to any other inquiries that you might have on this. Thank you very much.